Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. That was the wackiest verse in the cycle last <laughs> night. Schoolboy Q. It was. In my group, in my group it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we did a poll on the internet. Who had the wackiest TDE verse? Hey, Q, congratulations. You won. <laughs> I love it, man. It's love. Yo, who's this kid, uh, Isaiah Rashad? Oh, man, little ugly raccoon dude. We just saw it. <laughs> man. Raccoon. He's, yeah, he's like a raccoon, but he's, he's a monster, though. I never knew raccoons could rap. <laughs> but he hard, though. He hard, though. He hard. 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 He what, what, what do you say when he first met? How long ago did y'all sign him? And what do you say when he first met all you guys? Um, I don't know exactly when they signed him. Yeah. But um, when I first met him, I was at the work video shoot um, mm-hmm. with Ferg. Yeah. And um, shooting my part. And um, he came through. Dave said that I was like one of his favorites from uh, oh, wow. out of the camp. Maybe you just saying that because I was the first one he met or something. But could have said I was one of his favorites out of the camp. He heard he found me, then he found everybody else from the camp, and then he signed to us. He signed. Like some... Have you worked with him at all? Or... Um, yes, yeah, so I actually just laid a verse for him. Um, I'd rather have him and everybody else put what is what it is that we yeah, did no before problem. I try to do. No, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Um, at what point in your verse in the BET cipher did you start freestyling? Um, after the four bars. After the first four bars. Yeah. Um. I believe that's true, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah cause, I mean, but don't we had to do it over and over again, so I just kept being paced as we went. Okay. But I, I um, I freestyled it through the fourth four. four yeah, that's what I like about Q. He mm-hmm. ain't scared to just jump. It's like he's fuck it. I can't remember it anyway. I've been smoking too much. My 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 <laughs> pump, my asthma pump is up to like eighty pumps left. <laughs> I want to blow it right here on stage at the BET Awards. Um, uh, J Rock's verse. Mm-hmm. Was killer. You know why we're smart to have Rock go second? Because I think most rappers are just scared of him anyway. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And and the way he was kicking that verse was like, don't don't forget it. You know, don't forget it. Mm-hmm. You know, you can mm-hmm. fill in the blanks. Mm-hmm. Was that part of that directed towards J. Cole? That's what a lot of people <laughs> nah. thought, man. Why didn't nah, 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 okay, nah, okay, nah, okay. Nah, yeah, clear nah, that nah. up. That's, that's for Cole Ivy. With it. You know, when he said, everybody <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, that's what I'm okay, like. Okay, okay, I see that? why they would say that. Yeah, okay. I think I think that we dropped so many of them, of them lines that people are now starting to try to catch anything we do. Like, oh, he talking about, or, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, nah. Like, everybody thought I this Jay-Z when I said it was 50 grand to a motherfucker like me. Can you please remember? I just said his, his line. Like, yeah. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it wasn't nothing. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like, so. People just digging too deep, but that was a shot at every rapper that have been throwing stones at us. Uh-huh. Like when I wrote my verse, when I said, "You run into the cops saying them lines ain't true," so I just do Q. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it's or these rappers, cause like these the same rappers that was dissing us or throwing our names in a verse or speaking on my homie, the same nigga that just asked me for a verse. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm like saying? Who? Like, I'm not. They not even worth. I didn't do the verse, so okay. I ain't gonna say their name. Okay. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> plenty of text messages, like just nonstop trying to get the verse. Like mm-hmm. I'm not. Like you gonna throw some rocks how, at us? Like you serious? How how in your opinion? How did most rappers react to uh, the the verse um, from Control that Kendrick did? Were y'all disappointed in how they acted, or did, uh, you know did it, did it shock you? What, what did you learn about most of the rappers in the game based on the way they reacted to that? How did y'all take it? It was just the end of the day. It's us. We came in as us, and we gonna stick together as us. And mm-hmm. we never was friends with rappers anyway. Like we cool with everybody. Like we respect everybody. But I mean, that was just a it was a rap bar like that Kendrick dropped. So I mean, like I don't see how they took it so personal. Like he named like friends and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I mean, the King of New York thing. I mean. I probably would have went at somebody they said King Kelly like too, though. But <laughs> I wouldn't have did it on the same record he did it on with the mm-hmm. same concept because that just means you are not creative and you're just using his concept. and did, Like, that's just too easy, you know what I'm saying? But we was kind of, like, a little disappointed. Like, ah, oh, these guys is really out here, like, playing themselves because nobody's shit was really hot. Like, mm-hmm. So yeah. it's just, like, they playing themselves. So, like, dissing, like, one of my homies is, like, dissing me, so... You talk about one of my homies like you dissing me too, so it's like you know what I mean. Like I take that as you talking about me too. The internet blew up last night um, after Kendrick um, 
because the BT Awards itself when Q start rapping and start losing ratings. And then J Rock <laughs> came on, and then the ratings started improving. So, <laughs> soared through the roof. But yeah, then it starts soaring through the roof. And then Kendrick dropped this verse, and this is the one that got people um, really buzzing. Uh, and they were wondering, what who was he talking about right. this time? Was he talking about Drake? You know, was he talking about Cole? Who was he talking about? And this is how the verse went. <laughs> Damn, that was your cue, old cue. The setup. Was- <laughs> <laughs> All right, right there, right there, (laughs) right there, Q. And I know you talked to Kendrick about this. Was he talking about anybody in particular? Honestly, we didn't. Cause look, we did. I'm, I'm keep. You know, I don't. Okay, I keep it one hundred okay, all okay, the way through. Okay, okay. All right, look. This is how I went. We went. We recorded it. Mm-hmm. Kendrick wasn't even gonna rap. Then out of nowhere, he he be so and rock. He put us to the side and was like, "Yo, check this shit I got." And he rapped it. Then we was like, <laughs> then the director was like, "Come on, it's time to go." Cause we was already right there. We didn't know he was gonna rap. And then we was like, "Damn, this nigga just said all that." <laughs> Me, Soul, and Rock looking like, damn, we wrote the 16. Like, this is <laughs> We was hurt, like, ah. Oh. But we had, like, I mean, that's that was one of the moments, like, he's Kendrick Lamar. I mean, at the end of the day, as much as we always competitive with each other, I mean, he is the dude, the head of our camp right now, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So he deserved to get that extra 80 bars he spit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's Kendrick Lamar. People was wanting that, you know what I'm saying? So... We had to respect it. It was like respect it or check it. I write something better than it, and we didn't have nothing better than it at the time. So, he when you heard it, that. did you feel like he was addressing those lyrics towards Drake? <laughs> oh man, I don't know, man. What did you feel though? <laughs> I, didn't, you I didn't. I didn't catch it until people, um, until people said something about it. But um, I don't. I still don't think he got at Drake because we did that before. All before yeah, yeah, before. The little incident, I guess, whatever. Okay. All right, man. I swear. Schoolboy Q telling the truth here, man. Telling the truth. Mm. You know what? I got Schoolboy Q here, man. Pull Kendrick number up. Turn the music down real quick, man. Just call him on the speakerphone, bro. Don't let people hear the dial, the, the, the tones, because they'll memorize the, 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 <laughs> the sound. The sound. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's where you on. <laughs> one, two, one, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah, put it up on the mic. Put it up on the mic. See if he pick up. Oh boy, Q calling Kendrick Lamar. Mm-hmm. Live on the air. Uh oh. What's cracking, girl? What's cracking, girl? Hello? What's up? You can hear me? Can you hear me, nigga? Yeah, I hear you. Where you at? At the house. Oh shit! I'm over here at uh, this nigga Sway. You on the air right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Yo, what up, K Dot? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that uh, you know that verse has ruined my morning show this morning. Everybody's asking me questions about that verse. First of all, congratulations on the BT cipher. Congratulations! Oh, yeah, man. Hey, so people want to know, was that directed towards Drake? Hello, Kendrick? You're breaking up. Yo, no, seriously, uh, was, uh, people want to know, was that directed towards Drake or anybody in, part- in particular? Huh? Uh, that, was, that was just us having fun as usual. Uh-huh. All right, that's enough, Kendrick. Uh-huh. 
Wait, wait, wait. He ain't oh, taking come my on, shot. Now, come on, kill you. I got the phones. <laughs> Django. <laughs> That's Django. Right, <laughs> I can't go too far like that, man. I can't do it. I can't be the one that put it all out. There. Don't get me in trouble, man. We did. Why you trying to get him kicked out man, the team? We just supposed to have fun, man. Why you kicked out? No, that's fun. I, wasn't, I you love know. Django, but don't get him kicked out. Then he gonna come for my job. <laughs> he ain't gonna have no job. If, 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 if Top Dog kick you out of TDE, I'm a laugh. For a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Sway in the morning on Shay 45. Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shay 45. That was the wackiest verse in the cycle last <laughs> night. Schoolboy It really was. In my group, in my group it was. <laughs> we did a poll on the internet. Who had the wackiest TDE verse? Hey, Q, congratulations. You won. <laughs> I love it, man. It's love. Yo, who's this kid, uh, Isaiah Rashad? Cougar. Where you from? Cougar, Tennessee? What? What, what What do you say when he first met? How long ago did y'all sign him? And what do you say when he first met all you guys? Um, I don't know exactly when they signed him. Yeah. But, um... When I first met him, I was at the work video shoot um, with Ferg. Yeah. And um, shooting my part, and um, he came through, and Dave said that I was, like, one of his favorites from uh, oh, out of the camp. Maybe you just saying that because I was the first one he met or something, but after the four bars. After the first four bars? Yeah. Um, I believe that's true, right? That, yeah. yeah, yeah cause... I mean, but don't we had to do it over and over again, so I just kept being paced as we went. Okay. But I... I um. I'd freestyle it after the fourth four, four Yeah, that's what I like about Q. He mm-hmm. ain't scared to just jump. It's like he's fuck it. I can't remember it anyway. I've been smoking too much. My- <laughs> Could have been. Said I was one of his favorites out of the camp. He heard he found me, then he found everybody else from the camp, and then he signed to us. He signed. Like some- Have you worked with him at all? Um, yes, yeah, so I actually just laid a verse for him. Um, I'd rather have him and everybody else put what is what it is that we yeah, did no before problem. I try to do. No, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Um. At what point in your verse in the BET cipher did you start freestyling? Um, after, oh man, little ugly raccoon dude, we just like, <laughs> man, raccoon. Yeah, he like a raccoon, but he's he a monster. Though. I never knew raccoons could rap. But he hard though. He hard though. He hard. He hard. Chattanooga. What are you from? Chattanooga. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hey, it was funny. We always clown him about that. Like we were like, yo, Chattanooga. Where you from? Chattanooga. Younger.